Here is how to add the links to your PDF documents in Zoom Notes. Hello there, Taz from Plan here. Today I will teach you how you can add hyperlinks in Zoom Notes. At the end, you know how to add links to pages inside the document you are working on, but also how to add links to other documents inside your Zoom Notes library. When you have a digital planner or a digital notebook with link tabs, your job of navigating through your document is much easier. However, sometimes you create a new page inside your notebook or digital planner that you need to revisit often, but there isn't a link in your document that goes straight to it. But the good thing is that you can add links in Zoom Notes. Let me show you how to do it. Say, for instance, that I'm working on a report for work and I'm just writing down some thoughts inside this document. For that, I'll use my lined paper template to jot down some ideas. I want to insert a link on my to-do list to go straight to the page I will be working on. So to do that, I'll first note what page number this is in my document. This is page 132 of my planner. Now I'll go back to my to-do list to add the link. I'll be using the polygon shape to add the link to that page. You can find the polygon shape by clicking on the tools bar at the top and then find the polygon tool on the drawing tools. I'll create a shape that covers the area that I want to link to my report. Don't worry about the color for now, we'll fix it in a minute. If you click on the top bar here, you can see a lot of options for this shape. And the one that I'm interested in is the link option. Click on this link tab to see all the options. You can link something from the web, something you have bookmarked in Zoom Notes, or a page inside this document. In this case, I want to link to a page. You can scroll through the document to find the page, but my plan is large and that would take longer. That's the reason I noted the page number before. So I'll just type the page number 132 in this box and press return key. The last thing to do here is to make the shape transparent so I don't see these colors. So I go back to the shape options and uncheck the option for color fill and uncheck the option for border too. And now, when I click on that shape, it should take me straight to page 132. And as you can see, it still works. So the link is placed without any color. But this is not even the coolest thing about these links in Zoom Notes. Did you know that you can also add links to other documents inside Zoom Notes? Let me show you how to do this. To demonstrate that, I'll go find another document in my Zoom Notes library. Let's say I want to add a link to this notebook from my planner. To do that, we first need to get the link to this document. So go ahead and click on the name of your document and then Properties. And here you will find this document ID. I will copy this ID to my pasteboard. Now I will go back to my planner and use the polygon shape again. Once I add the shape, I can go to the Options tab to create the link. This time I'm going to click on the Web option. And here I will paste the URL of the other document in this box. Once it's done, I can turn the color fill and the border options off. And now I should have a link inside my planner that goes off to another document in my library. These links can be super useful for quick digital note-taking and digital planning. Click on the video on your screen to learn how to add stickers in Zoom Notes.